Hi everyone, welcome to our first episode of Afternoon Art with Miss Shay. I'm really excited to start posting these videos and help share some fun crafts to keep you busy while we're all stuck at home. So our book today should come as no surprise to any of my Art with Heart students because they know how much I love Mo Willems and especially the Pigeon books. So we're going to be reading The Duckling Gets a Cookie. And then after we finish reading, I'm going to show you how to make these watercolor pigeon paintings without actually using any watercolor paint. Pretty fancy stuff. The Duckling Gets a Cookie by Mo Willems. The Duckling Gets a Cookie? I do not like the look of that title. Hello, scooty scoot scoot. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks, Flappy Flip Flap. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it, politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? Yes. So, you got a cookie with nuts just by asking, politely. I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. I'll ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Right now, I'm asking why. Why, why, why? Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. I ask to stay up late. Oh yeah, I'm the asking-ist pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? No. It's not fair. Flappy flap flip. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? So I could give it to you. And another thing. How about what? You're giving me that cookie with the nuts. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mmm, chomp. That is one cool duckling. Chomp. Yes, sir. Bye. May I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. So as you can see here, I have a piece of tin foil, a paintbrush, a Sharpie, a cup of water, some Crayola markers, and a piece of plain white paper. You're going to start off um, at the bottom of your paper. You're going to make sort of a C shape, but instead of stopping your C, you're going to keep going and bring it up and over. And then you'll start right about here and you'll continue so that you connect it to that weird C shape. And it should look kind of like a little teardrop. Then you're going to take your marker and you're going to make two lines, one here and one here. And this is going to be your pigeon's neck. And then you'll take your Sharpie and go up and around to make a big old circle 
And then on our pigeon, he always has a white stripe on his neck. So we're going to just take our marker and draw two lines right here. So now we have that white stripe. And then we'll draw our pigeon's feet. A line here and a line here. And then three little lines to finish. There we have our pigeon's body. I'm gonna make his wing go around and here. And his eye. Pigeon has a big eye, so make a big circle right up here. And we'll fill it in a little bit. Remember, if he has a big eye, he'll need a big pupil. Then we're going to make his beak. We'll go and make one triangle up here and then another down here. So it sort of looks like he's talking to us. And now we have our pigeon. So our next step is we're going to paint our pigeon. So with our tin foil, we're going to take a marker and I'm gonna start off with my blue. So our pigeon is blue. I'm gonna take it and scribble a blob shape on my tin foil. Now this is kind of a fun trick. We're going to actually be painting our pigeon. Um, it would be like whether, it would be like painting it with watercolors, but instead of watercolors, we're going to use our markers as our watercolor. So take your brush, dip it in your water, make sure to tap it to get all that extra water out. And then you're going to swirl it around on your tin foil and take it and start painting your pigeon's body. And you're going to repeat that. Remember not to paint inside this little white stripe because that's the part we're keeping white. And all around. And when it starts to look white like this, like you can't see that there's much color anymore, you just put down your brush, grab the same color marker you use, and you can continue to scribble. You might need to move to a not wet, a dry spot on the tin foil. Our next step is we're going to draw our beak. And so we're going to take our yellow, do the same process, but you won't need a lot of yellow since you're just coloring this little tiny beak right there. So swish around your water really good. You want to get that blue out of there. Tap it and dip it right on your yellow. And you're going to need to very carefully make his beak. off your marker again. Now our background is kind of plain right now so we're going to take our other colors here and we're going to fill it in with a pattern. I'm going to do some polka dots around mine but you can do whatever kind of pattern you like. So clean your marker again, your brush, we'll let it hang right here. I think I'm going to use purple first. And grab my brush Dip in the purple and start making some polka dots. Thank you. 
And that's how you make a watercolor painting of the pigeon based off of Mo Willem's book, The Duckling Gets a Cookie. Feel free to post pictures of your very own pigeon paintings and tag Winter Green Arts Center or myself in them. We would love to see what your pigeon paintings looked like. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for another exciting episode of Afternoon Art with Miss Shay.